Hey y'all, hey, welcome to my channel, Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers, honey. I'm so glad that you are here today. Well, what we talking about today, we are continuing with our Crafty Reflections. And in this Crafty Reflections time, I share with you this wonderful, wonderful, inspirational, devotional pattern book. And this is Knit, Pray, Share, written by the lovely Lisa Hennessy. And honey, it is amazing. I love it and I hope you love it too. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and get jiggy with it, but before we do, do you have your crafty item? Well, go on and grab your crafty item then, honey. Listen, whether it's knitting, loom knit, latch hook, honey, water painting, watercolor painting, water, water painting, no, watercolor painting, <laughs> diamond painting. Listen, it could be any craft that you choose that you absolutely love. Go on and grab it as I begin to share this with you today, okay? All right, what you chilling today? You not crafting today? Don't even worry about it. Listen, just grab you something to drink, some water, some tea, some coffee, what have you. Have a seat, relax, as I share this wonderful devotional with you today, okay? All right, uh, but before we begin, let's go on and look at how cute this is, right? Let's go on and look how cute this is. You ready? I'm going to show you. This is the felted ice pop sleeve. How cute is that? Oh, that's so cute. That's just cute. They, man, Lisa out here getting jiggy with it with some wonderful cute things. Now listen, listen, listen. You do not have to know how to knit to enjoy this wonderful devotional pattern book, okay? It's inspirational to me, and I pray that it's inspirational to you. All right, so before we begin, let's look to the Most High in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that we have to share in you. Father, I pray that you touch the hearts of those that are listening right now. Father, heal them where they need to be healed. Deliver them where they need to be delivered. And set them free where they need to be set free. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, family. We're going to go ahead and get into it because I'm excited about this cute little item. Okay, it's called a Felton Monster Ice Pop Sleeve. I showed you, but I'm going to show you again because it's cute. Isn't that cute? Honey, we can bless so many people with these little cute little gifts in our neighborhood. We could. Absolutely. All right, let's go on and get into it then, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Felted Monster Ice Pop Sleeve. As I am typing this, Texas is experiencing record heat days. When it's 110 degrees outside, an ice pop can really hit the spot. These felted ice pop holders are the perfect way to get to know some of the children in your neighborhood or community. For instance, our church had a night movie night for the community. Had I thought of this ahead of time, I could have knocked on the doors of my neighbors who I knew had young children and delivered these along with the card advertising our movie night. These could also be a fun way to invite neighborhood children to vacation Bible school. One of my neighbors who has young children who love the Lord would jump at the opportunity to be able to invite friends to their church's VBS. What a fun way for them to do that. This is an easy project that I could do with them. It uses a spool knitter and scraps of wool yarn. And that's it. Y'all know one of them little spool knitters? It's small. It's really it's cute. I got one. It's cute. I, I don't have it with me right here, but I do have one. <laughs> and it's super cute. Um, this looks like it will be so fun. So you can use, um, yeah, like a, you can even use a small uh, 12 peg round loom. Like they make flowers. They got those too. Absolutely. All right. Let's go on and get into the scripture reference. Matthew chapter 19 verse 14 jesus said let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these dear lord thank you for the young hearts that you love and that love you and want to share the gospel with those who may not know you be with them as they make these fun gifts Lead the children and their parents to knock on the right doors when inviting others to church. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray these things. Amen. 
Amen, family. This this is cute. These are cute. I love the little jiggly eyes you put on there. <laughs> this will be so nice. I mean, I can't even imagine 110 degree weather here where I live. But where I'm thinking of moving to, honey, over there in, in the Arizona streets, this will be perfect too. So in the hot times of Ohio, it'll be great. In the hot times of anywhere, this will be great. To bless somebody with ice pop sleeves. <laughs> So this is cute. Let me know what you think about this. Well, listen, we're going to be talking about it, though. Feel free to join me on Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will be discussing this wonderful Knit, Pray, Share, written by Lisa Hennessy. It is absolutely wonderful. Feel free to come on over and let's talk about it. We're going to talk about it live. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, family. Well, listen, enjoy the rest of your day. If this blessed you, honey, feel free to hit like, subscribe, and honey, share. Yes, feel free to share and ring that bell so you know every time I am in these YouTube streets, honey. Okay. All right. May the most high bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time. Bye. Bye.